Boosh. No, we can't do more arena. I'm done with the battle arena. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, also Bulletproof, sorry. You, I think you, you probably came in just after uh, the announcement, but me and my friend Daikon will be playing the Resident Evil 2 remake. Um, not this weekend, but starting next weekend, either on Saturday or Sunday. We're still firming up the exact date. Uh, but he and I are going to have a, a scare off to see which one who, who of us gets the most scared playing. Um, so we're going to be playing that kind of side by side. Not physically, because unfortunately, Dai Chan and I live on completely different coasts. But uh, we'll be playing RE2 uh, for a few days, kind of at similar times. It's going to be fun. Uh, also, I we are working on a poster battle star. I promise you will be happy with it. <laughs> yeah, no, the arena was not nice to us. It was not. Oh, I'm probably not, to be honest, I'm probably not gonna bother going back to the underwater airplane. I'm not really trying to get everything. Um, I also heard Yuffie's ultimate uh, is kind of garbage. <laughs> I mostly just wanted Tiffs and Klaus. The only other things that I really want to do that are optional, um, I might try to take a swing at getting Knights of the Round, because I've never seen it. And I want to try to fight Ruby and Emerald weapons without um, any guide or anything. You'd have to convince your mom to play RE2 Remake, Carly. You'd be too chicken to play it yourself. Well. If neither one of you are willing to play it, you are more than welcome to join me, because I guarantee you I'm going to be scared. No. Starting my own pizza joint would be far too complicated, and would require a lot of money and staying in one place. I bet you there probably is a gold saucer pizza somewhere. We'll sit till ultimate's a bag. I did pick up SIDS. Uh, hey chat, what does two times cut materia do? Does that mean you get that many attacks? couldn't start a pizza joint, you're, you would eat it all? Oh, you're probably gonna miss it because of spoilers. No worries, Draconics. I mean, I, I won't be playing it until about a week after release, but if you want to stay spoiler-free for your own playthrough, I completely understand. Oh. Does, okay. Does two times cut work for death blow? Does it work for death blow? If it works for Deathblow, I'll go get it. <laughs> I'm mostly- I'm trying to be lazy if it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows. I can try to Google it. I'll see if I can Google it. so much. Like, it hit one more time, but that's it? I 
We've got at least three people who follow that are streaming the new Ari. Oh, you guys are going to play Kingdom Hearts 3 together. That is really exciting, Harley. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be waiting uh, a while probably to play Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, just to give everybody else a shot at it first. <laughs> and then when, when things calm down a little bit, I'll probably pick it up. get it and experiment with it seems seems very vague about no one seems to know on game facts which is the only links I can find I guess worst case scenario um, we can have it for tiff or Yuffie anyway or I guess technically cloud too since um, we have the ultimate weapon for him, and that seems like it'd be fairly useful. Uh, crap, if I can remember where this is. I have not Trop. Although, really, um, I don't know, this was, what, a little over a year ago? Um, Morag played the Steam version of Chrono Trigger, and he actually said it wasn't that bad. <laughs> And that was before they updated the uh, the sprites, I think. To be the old ones. Hi, Spoons. How are you doing today? It's good to see ya. Okay, I am gonna use a save point because this place is not friendly. Although we're, I don't know, we're a tiny bit higher level, so maybe it won't be so bad, except for I'm gonna knock on wood, because otherwise I'm gonna get one shot. You remember wanting to sink two times cut with the all, attack all material and had everybody multiple times? Oh, but it's... Wah, wah, separate commands. So I think maybe I just missed like a s entire section or something. Nah. Bonk. Man, we don't hit them very hard though. Uh oh. Unfortunately, Tiff's the only party member that doesn't have a freaking ribbon. And she's about to dunk on my own party members. Ow. Oh boy. Ah, tartar sauce. Okay, well, at least Tiff woke herself up. It's fine. Everything's fine. We have life two now. No bard rip. Okay, well maybe tip bard rip, but life two is so nice. Welcome. So I 
don't yeah, I don't think it's actually down here. Oh, yep, it's literally this. What is this place? Must be some kind of research establishment because there's a Mako generator. Yeah, there is, clown. Yeah, there is. material to Yuffie because I think her weapon right now has a double. I think she's got a double level. Oh hey, I forgot they healed from fire. It's fine. Tiff will take care of that. Store material was more nice. Just woke up being pretty sick. Oh no! I hope you feel better soon. Hey, spooky action. How you doing? You're working on it. <laughs> He's working on it. Mega elixir. Uh, I see. There's like a material behind that thing. I. See. That must be on the ground. I think we have to go down first. Guys, guys, it's Jesse, guys, it's Jesse. It's Jesse, guys, 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 it's Jesse, guys, it's Jesse, it's Jesse, guys! I can't believe you still remember that after like two years, Cinnamon. <laughs> oh my god, where's my xylophone? My Also, thank you to whoever purchased from the Humble Bundle store using our code. I appreciate it. Hey, RBX, how are you doing today? Escort guard. There we go. There's the double cut materia. So, I'm gonna give that to you, free. I think. This is, uh... Yes, she's double. Okay. be fine for now. We don't actually need the throw materia until Severoth anyway. <gasps> Hi Danny, what's up? How you doing? No, 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 don't eat the crystal cinnamon. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, Cloud, give him the old triangle.
That's right. You think I give any ups? Thanks, Battle Arena. <laughs> Four hours to get that in W Summon. It was worth it, though. You're doing great, Danny. I'm glad to hear that. You're doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, you have a question about my new mouse. Have I found an infinitely loading blog or news page, unlock my scroll wheel, and let it rip yet? Do I have to do something special to unlock my scroll wheel? I have been playing with it a lot because it makes... Listen, listen to this. Hi, Ollie. It makes a really nice, uh... A really nice clack sound. I don't know if my mic's picking that up. I don't know why, but I really like that sound. <laughs> I've been I've been digging that sound, so I find every excuse to use my scroll wheel. Oh, the button right below the scroll wheel moves down the notches so you can just let it scroll forever. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that was there. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. Hi Rocco, how you doing? Good to see ya. Always, yeah, yeah, like I said, spooky action. I spent four hours at the battle arena <laughs> getting uh, Omni Slash and W Summon just because I could and because I never had before. Mouse SMR. <laughs> hey, Gallon, how you doing? And hey, Rocket, how are you? I just felt like getting Omni Slash, man. You hate when your wheel unlocks and you don't realize it and then, oh no, and then it just zooms. I'm gonna have to do that on like Twitter or something. That one feature will make me never want a different mouse ever again. Probably. Ollie, what is it, buddy? Uh, one sec, friendo. Let's, let's do this so that we don't get randomly attacked by Emerald Weapon, okay? No getting attacked by Emerald Weapon unless we want to be attacked. <laughs> Picking up either Resident Evil 2 or Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, I'm I'm gonna pick up Kingdom Hearts 3 eventually. Uh, not anytime super soon, Cinnamon. I'm gonna wait on it. Um, I am going to be picking up Resident Evil 2 about a week after its release because it's releasing tomorrow. So I'm gonna be picking it up about a week later. Hi, Emerald. I guess I don't really need to be down there. I can just... No, we're not, we're not ready for Emerald Weapon. We need a lot more health. Yep, RE2 Remake drops tomorrow, I think at like 9 p.m. Pacific. Oh my gosh, no. Go in the airship, Plow. <laughs> the airship. Yeah, EST midnight between Thursday and Friday. It technically comes out on Friday, but you know, midnight release. Hey, Mori, how you doing? All right. I think we're ready, finally. Let's go poke Midgar. We've reached Midgar! Even if we get there, Midgar's under martial law. There'll be no way we can slip into the slums. 
Looks like all transportation from the slums is cut off. Hey, hey, what do you think we have high wind for? Where are we now? Huh? Where are we? If land's no go, we'll go by air. Okay, then we'll parachute into Midgar. Woo! Parachuting! Hey, Megabytes. Uh, remake comes out tomorrow, technically, at midnight Eastern. So it's like, it technically comes out Friday. So Thursday night at midnight uh, Eastern. I believe you can get it. You can probably, if you pre-order it on Steam, I think you can download it already. Maybe also on PS4. Well, no, tomorrow is Thursday, but tomorrow's midnight will technically be Friday. <laughs> you cranked up the graphics pretty hard on an RE2 demo and holy crap, it's jaw dropping. I don't actually know yeah, I don't know how hard I, I will be able to crank up my graphics. I mean, I also have a 1060, but since I stream from the same computer, I may have to not go too crazy high with the graphics. Oh, uh, if you have a PS4 gallon, I would recommend getting the full collection on PS4. Here we go! Yeah, I haven't touched the demo. I haven't watched any videos. I've been massively avoiding spoilers. Whee! Parachutes, which by the way, I still don't actually know where we get them from, but hey, it's fine. out there. Let's go underground. Hooray for the underground. I like how in this particular scene we still have the backpack on. It's a nice cute little addition. And then we magically don't have it anymore. Also there's a save point here. I'm playing the PC version Rocket. Oh, you're suffering from 14 fatigue. Oh no, Gallon, I'm sorry. Hey, Neo Shadow, I'm sorry you can't sleep. You're welcome to coming out with us for a bit. This is where we go in. Hurry to the Mako Cannon! Woo! We're back to this music! Good. It really depends. Oh wow, it's only 26 gigs on Steam? That is really reasonable, Mori. Received elixir. Okay, I also... I don't entirely remember how to get to all these treasure chests, but we're gonna figure it out. Also, everyone will love my triangles! Well, 
Yeah, spooky action. That's because enemy's skill is essentially blue magic, which has been around in Final Fantasy since at least FF5. Oh yeah, also Kate's hits uh, slots do completely freaking break the game if you know what you're doing. Which is why, if you look up the speedrun category, there is specifically one for not using slots. Cause it's broken as hell! Hello there, behemoth! Funny how you would turn up. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was an FF3 or not, because I haven't played that one. I mean, I disagree with the idea of both of them being stupid from a story standpoint, but with that said, Liking characters is also subjective, so that's okay. We can we can agree to disagree on things like that too. You remember that time you didn't read things? And you you all oh, you took characters into places they couldn't be used? Yeah. I think we've all done that though, Trop, so don't feel bad. Where I'll just use attack. I think you should die by then anyway. Oh yeah, tactics? Uh, well, I've played just regular tactics and it's super good. I've actually heard good things about tactics advance, that it's uh, a bit more lighthearted. And it does add some new mechanics. I'm actually planning on playing it this year. It's on my RPGs of 2019 list. Well, Mori, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, there wouldn't be a whole... <laughs> there wouldn't be that big of odds on me screaming a lot playing RE2's remake, considering how much the original made me scream when I watched my brother play it. Also, cool. Frickin'... Thanks, Tiff. Good job. I'm really probably just gonna have to give her that ribbon. Or turn that Hades into a ribbon instead of effect. I should probably just do that. I should just switch these. Screw it. Okay, there. Now we shouldn't have any more issues with her. Now I forgot which ladder we came from. I think it was the other one. Yeah, it was. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scared a lot playing RE2's remake. That's pretty much guaranteed. If you caught me playing RE1's remake, you'll know. <laughs> If you didn't, um, there is actually a best of Hollow Week that's still up somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't have the entire playthrough saved. Wow, that's a lot of magic defense percent. It's 
screw it. I'm gonna just equip um, Aegis Armlet. Jill, the master of unlocking! Hey, Malice, how you doing? yet, so I need to do that. Actually, I think I did miss something up there? I think I was supposed to go down that tube. Yeah, everything Barry says in the original is just... It's so cheesy, I love it. up and try to go down that little tube. Oh no, uh, she now has a guaranteed success rate for Deathblow Cinnamon Bun because I have God's Hand. She has an attack percent of 255, which means she cannot miss with Deathblow. It's really OP. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I need to take that other ladder to get to that. I see. And I also have, um, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't do like a crazy lot, but if you attach uh, added cut to death blow, it actually does function. Uh, I don't think two times cut does. Cause it just says attacks constantly. So I don't think you can do that one, but added cut works. play 12 before tactics advance it's probably just gonna be I don't know random it'll probably just depend on whatever I feel like playing at the time you know me I just kind of pick stuff and go ah that sounds good right now oh no we fell what should we do whatever shall we do Oh, do you mean Final Fantasy VII Smooth Action? I'm playing it on Steam. I have the PS1 version, but this one looks way nicer. So we're playing it on PC. Plus, I'm not 100% sure that my PS2 is okay. I still need to test it. And I'd be really sad if it died on us in the middle of the game. Malice. Although, really, it wasn't that bad at the beginning. It kind of just depends on... Well, no, I guess because it depends on luck. It's really a toss-up. I'll be fine playing in Tactics Advance or 12 first. They each add a little to each other. There's nothing I need to know from either game. Okay. I mean, I know that there's the bunny race. Because of, I know who Fran is. I don't know anything about her, but I know she exists. <laughs> I'm looking forward to 12. I feel like it's going to be something I'll like. Nah, I'm probably not going to like Sonic 06, but we're going to play it on the next Bad Slash Word game night anyway. No, no, I played Symphonia on Steam Fireheart, which is, I believe, a port of the PS3 version. I do not have a copy of Symphony on GameCube, and unfortunately, that one's pretty pricey. <laughs> Triangles!
You've had PS1 discs hiccup even though they look totally sound on the data side. Yeah, I actually had to replace my, my PS1 copy of FF9 because even though it, I mean, it looks a little scratched up, but it didn't look that bad. And for whatever reason, half the discs just didn't function anymore. Don't oh, me potato salad. Starlight phone. Okay. Is there actually anything down here, or is this just pointless? Oh no, I can't even take that ladder. Nah, I never tried to buff it out. I just. Honestly, a new copy of Final Fantasy IX is still like $20 on Amazon. Even because the Square Enix store themselves still has it. It's like, man. Although Insane Man actually sent it to me for my birthday, so I didn't even have to buy it. <laughs> he just remembered one day that I was sad while I was testing out the PS1 that Mike sent me. I was sad that my copy of Final Fantasy IX didn't work anymore. You might have a black label copy of Nine with all the discs nearly brand new that you found in a pawn shop for like three dollars. Holy crap. Uh, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure my copy of FF9 is the original black label. Uh, I don't have... I don't have a black label of Seven anymore because my brother sold it. I have the greatest hits of that one, which I actually found at a uh, Costco for $15. <laughs> many, many years ago, me and my family went into Costco. I don't even remember why. I think we just wanted to look around and we looked at everything and I found in a bargain bin, a copy of Final Fantasy VII for $15. I was really shocked and I immediately bought it. I'm pretty sure Costco still sells games, yeah? Or at least they used to. This was many, many years ago. You think, oh no, is your disc one missing from FF9? That sucks, Quantic, I'm sorry. Well, Battlestar, the best way, if you, if you wanna see some new emotes, the best way is to invite as many of your friends to come hang out as possible. We are still quite a long ways away from unlocking a new slot. Usually just a small table of a few games. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure they still have a few things. Costco has just about everything. Used to get PC games at Sam's Club. You know what? It actually might have been a Sam's Club. I think it might have been a Sam's Club that I went to and found seven. Now that I think about it. Because I think there were more of those where me and my folks lived. Leave this to me. Hurry to the cannon. Okay. Okay, Barry. No, they never sold games during my school big fairs, but I did buy a lot of books. One time, I bought a stuffed monkey that had Velcro hands and feet. I was the cool fit kid for like a day. Nice, Greninja. I still have my copy of Super Mario Kart. I might have the box somewhere, uh, but it's for your Super Nintendo, not Super Famicom. Also, hi, how you doing? Like, yeah, my school book fairs didn't sell video games. Oh, you came across uh, the Tomb Raider games, all of them for 25 bucks and all rather pristine. Yeah, that would be hard to say no to. Hi, Ollie. Mario Kart! 
Oh, you still have one of those monkeys? I don't know if I have mine still. Hi, Ollie. You wanna go back? Triangles, 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 triangles. I swear, I'm gonna be using trine at the end of the game. I'm gonna use triangle on Sephiroth, all right? That's what I'm gonna do. <gasps> Battle Corgi! How are you doing today, Corgi? It's good to see ya. No, 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 no! Only triangles. No squares, no circles, triangles. <laughs> they really only did educational games and somehow that's oh somehow age of mythology snuck in it was a educational age of empires that sounds familiar <gasps> that reminds me of zumbinis fireheart i love zumbinis me and codex streamed zumbinis once like two years ago too it was still just as fun as i remembered There's something on this I don't like. Have a pizza party. Nom, 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 nom. I smell it. The cannon's not this way. Okay. Hey, Ryan, what are you doing? Sorry, that joke is a bit of <laughs> Thank you, Rad. Oh, you're doing well playing Smash tournaments with friends online? That sounds excellent. Okay, octagons are fine because you can fit triangles inside of octagons. Although I guess you can also fit triangles inside of circles and squares and rectangles. So I suppose secretly everything's a triangle. Running all the way. We got a W item. D -d 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 w item. But da -da 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 -da. worth it. Yeah. So worth it. Mm -mm -mm. It was worth it. Do, 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 do. It was worth it. W's. Technically, well, yeah, if the triangle's small enough, you could fit it inside a circle. Polygons, all the way down. Hey, chat, I got a secret for you. You know what a square is? Okay, technically a rectangle, I guess. I guess it would be a rectangle, but you know what a rectangle technically is? Two triangles next to each other, one of them upside down. Got him! Bet you had no idea! <laughs> Dead end! Oh no! 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 What do we ever do? Damn it, Rocco, you caught me. I am two triangles next to each other, one of them upside down. <laughs> okay, I want to give somebody this W item materia. Uh, where, oh gosh, where can I even fit this thing? What? anywhere 
worth it. We'll just equip W item instead of Asuna. I mean, I guess they technically don't need it when everyone has a ribbon anyway. Yeah, I guess we'll, dang, I guess we'll have to quit the game, Bloody Fox. It was nice while it lasted. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing today? Thank you, thank you, Jelly. I'm also glad I squared that away. <laughs> Final Fantasy 8. It's not my favorite. I think it has some good qualities. The story can be super confusing. Um, if you're cool with that, uh, it is overall, in my opinion, a fun Final Fantasy. I actually happen to like the draw system, even if it's not everyone's favorite. And I'm a really big fan of Triple Triad. I would say if it looks like a Final Fantasy you would enjoy, go for it. No, I did. I did like it, spooky action. Okay. Just real quick. I'm gonna pause. This is very important. I like every Final Fantasy. I like every single one of them. I have a Moogle tattoo, okay? <laughs> I like them all. Just because one isn't my favorite does not mean I don't like it. <laughs> I have had a lot of folks say that, uh, Fickle Pickle Pie. A lot of people feel like eights either you love it or you hate it. It's, it's very divisive. What's his face? Eight does have some really banging music, like Man with a Machine Gun. Man with a Machine Gun is awesome. You even liked FF2. I actually haven't played two or three, but I guarantee you that even if I don't like them as much as other Final Fantasies, I will still find things about them that I like. You know, again, granted, I'm a giant Final Fantasy fangirl, so take that as you will, but I like them all. Irvine is really cool. I you know what's funny, Sako? The first time I met Irvine, I was, I literally am pretty sure I was like, ugh, I don't like this guy, but then he just grew on me a bunch. He really grows on you over time. Yeah, and that's, that's cool too, Green Ninja. If Ocarina of Time's not like one of your favorites, but you still enjoyed it, absolutely. I actually did get all the summons in FF8 when we played it on stream. All right, now that I got every single item in this direction, we're gonna walk all the way back. A lot of things are pretty about eight, but nostalgia. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm with Rio too. Like, every Final Fantasy has its good things and its not so good things. Like, uh, Final Fantasy IX is my favorite video game of all time, but I still don't like Tetra Master. <laughs> Oh, oh, you didn't like Triple Trade. I'm sorry, Spooky Action. Oh, and then, oh, in the 90s, the US didn't get the pocket station. Yeah, you needed some kind of item from a mini game or something. If you ever play the Steam version, it actually comes with the pocket station as like a digital thing. You feel the same with Metal Gear Solid Metal? You like all of them? <laughs> well, I, I would have never guessed. <laughs> Doom Train! Yeah, Final Fantasy 8 has Doom Train. 
Oh, A was your first Final Fantasy and JRPG. That's awesome, Jelly. And Sane Man, we all know you secretly love Edward. You just can't admit it. I know it in my heart. Um, I would say get the PS4 version of Seven Trop. Don't. Don't bother buying the PS... Like, if you mean the PS1 Classic as in the actual physical system Sony made, I've heard it's not worth. Oh no, they're here! <laughs> what are we going to do? I think we can ignore our orders now. Elena, don't act so weak. We're Turks, Elena. Yes, sir. You're right. Come on, we've got work to do. I'm not really up for it, but... Our orders were to seek you out and... Kill. Our company may be in turmoil, but an order's an order! That's the spirit of the Turks. Believe it! Oh no! All three of the Turks, what am I gonna do? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! bomb everyone, Elena? That seems super silly of you. Yeah, Tiff and Elena are just continuing the slap fight that Tiff was having with Scarlet earlier. <laughs> anyway, oh no! What am I gonna do, guys? A cheap ass. <laughs> Take that. Oh. She killed Cloud and Yuffie. You missed, bro. Let's call it a day. I love how they have Elena like checking her makeup. She's like, bye bye. Oh no, poor Claire won't get any XP. What's he gonna do? Oh, it's the worst. Hey, Lightbane, how you doing? Hey, Cloud Nooner Soup, welcome. No, it, it actually will be fine. <laughs> it's actually gonna be perfectly fine. To be quite frank, it'll be okay. Oh yeah, also I have a bunch of usable items. 
We're all the way down here, though. Which way? Goddamn piece of money symbol, pound symbol, at carrot percentage sign cannon. Oh, is that all? Oh, okay. That's just what he says. It's fine. Yeah, no, I don't want to use the item clone glitch. I feel like that's kind of cheating. I don't want to be a cheater, you know, at least to some degree. Oh wait, actually, did I? I forget if I missed an item by going to the left on the other side. So hang on. I gotta go double check, plus we can listen to more of this banging music. All of it. Also, no, I like Cloud, all right? He's actually a really good magic caster. I just, you know, my plan is to fight Ruby Weapon with Tiff, so her stuff matters a little more. I'll be fine for the Sephiroth fight. I'm not really planning on getting to level 99 with anyone, so it won't add any health. We'll be okay. Then we'll go check the, uh this direction. I don't remember if there's anything on this side. Oh wait, this might actually be where we're supposed to go. Yeah, it is. This can't be. Are you serious? Oh, hey there. joining us. And I hope so, Greninja. Hey, my Nork, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Here they come! <laughs> so they really showed up! Oh, look, it's the evil laughing twin duo. You sure treated us like dogs till now. You killed many of my precious soldiers. <laughs> well, let's see how you do against anti-weapon artillery! You guys are worthless, but my proud creation is great! Thanks for stepping out just to tell us that, and then you go back into your hidey hole of machinery. I'll show you the destructive power of the proud Claude! And, uh... At this point in time, I would like to point out the real reason why I was originally going to name Cloud Claude. <laughs> that was the point. This 
to take care of this. We'll let Bahamut Zero do all the work. I can't wait till I get an additional summon of Bahamut Zero. That's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, I am gonna nuke everything. Is that a problem? <laughs> I farmed for four hours for this materia, and I'm gonna get my money's worth. <laughs> I'm getting my money's worth. What if you said yes, that it's a problem? Then I would tell you that you were wrong. And I would still summon them. It's okay, Tide. I know you don't understand the importance of W summon. It's my plan to destroy everything in Final Fantasy VII. But you will someday. That's how you felt about Knights of the Round. Maybe we'll get a chance to pick that up too. Goblin punch him. I'm gonna goblin punch him. That actually did like 500 damage. That wasn't as awful as I thought it could be. One of my all materials got maxed out. And we got Ragnarok! Score. No way! This is the Proud Claude! That's Clow! His name is Clow! Whoa! Man, I would have laughed too. That would have been beautiful if he had died to that. <laughs> that would have been so nice. Wait, okay, so now I feel like there was something else in the other place that I left behind. But I don't... I don't know if I can go back. Hang on. Make sure. Also, hey Curtis, hey Orson, how you guys doing?
Wait, this isn't very helpful. I guess because I'm out of the tunnel. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss an item and I'm too lazy to walk back. Ah, yes. Okay, we do want to go back. guide on my phone because I was too lazy to walk back and fight random battles if there wasn't anything worth going back to that other location for but I just googled it and there is so we're walking back Orson, I I just mentioned this earlier but you may have just come in I have a Moogle tattoo I love Final Fantasy so no Final Fantasy will never bore me <laughs> I mostly just didn't want to go back to the Shinra headquarters because I couldn't, I was like, crap, I don't remember because I, I, last time I played this game was about three years ago and I couldn't remember if it was worth going back or not and it turns out it definitely is. Uh, I am not doing more Fort Condor though. That's not happening. Well, let's go to the Shinra headquarters because I want to pick up some goodies. Including, even though we probably won't use it. Um, I want to grab Kate Sit's ultimate weapon. Hey, Ultimate Flash, how you doing? Plus, there's a save point here. Hooray. No, no, the sister race not this way! Psst, I'm trying to get your weapon, buddy. Seven MP. Lucky. Lucky meeps. Can I just go in the front door these days? Kind of looks like it. Although, let's take the elevators. Why would they do that metal? Chocobos have been in Final Fantasy for a super long time. That'd be a super weird choice. Would I rather do Fort Condor or Battle Arena? Oh, Battle Arena? I'd rather do Battle Arena than Fort Condor. <laughs> hey, Bloka. I'm doing good. How are you today? I don't know, man. I mean, some people like Fort Condor, and that's cool. I just... It's very slow. <laughs> okay, so... I don't remember which one has the locker on it. One of these floors had a locker. I'm just gonna go through all the top floors. Cause I don't remember. Ah, actually, yeah, it is right here. Cool. Received either. Oh, hey, I didn't pick that up before. Locked. HP shout. There we go. That's what I wanted. Shout, shout, let it all out. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to come in here and get Kate Sit's weapon. And let's go back down. It's going all right. I'm glad to hear that, Bloka. Uh, yeah, Fort Condor, it's kind of like a tower defense mini game, but it's very slow. Uh, what's, ooh, what's my least favorite Final Fantasy mini game? 
that's a good question. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe the fact that there's a section of Final Fantasy IX where Tetra Master is forced? I'm also not that big of a fan of Blitzball, but that's just me. Yeah, it's optional. You don't have to come back to Shinra. You can completely skip it. But I, and the only reason why I remember to come back to that locker is that I happen to go to it the first time you come to Shinra. And Cloud's like, ah, we don't need this, like, weird yellow megaphone thing. And I, I literally yelled at him. I was like, yes, you do. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> There's something else missable there? Uh, sure. Hey, Rio, what is it? What else is here? Oh, well, I, I appreciate that, Rose. And if you do, uh, I am a full-time broadcaster, so it does support me making content. But regardless, everybody is welcome here. This would probably be Tetra Master Trap. You'd say Blitzball, but you didn't read any of the rules. I also didn't really read the rules. And somehow, I managed to win the first game? I... I don't know. I have no idea. Definitely, yeah. To ride my all day. Hello, lovely. Happy to see you play FF7. Thank you for your stream and your lovely personality. Less than three, have a happy new year. Deep of happiness, smile. Thank you so much for four months. Enero, welcome back. I hope you continue to enjoy joining us in our quest. We're fun. I appreciate that. I think we're doing well today. Yeah, yeah, you totally can. Well, it's kind of off to the side is why I think a lot of people don't realize you can go back to it. Oh, it's just a flyer you have to read to get a bunch of items if you find them all. Man, I'm not, I'm not worried. If they're not unique items, I'm good. Thank you, though, Rio. No worries. I don't want to spend my MP now because I have 777. It's lucky. Hi, Toby. How you doing? Good to see ya. Oh, no! Oh, they missed. Hey, wait, did that give me slow? That kind of looked like it gave Tiff slow. But it doesn't matter now. Oh, no, yeah, this is, um... This will be the second time that I beat Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I played it all the way through on stream about three years ago. But we are, we're kind of, um, we're keeping it spoiler free for people that haven't seen the game yet. We actually had some people that watched the playthrough that had not gotten spoiled on Era's death. So they were able to experience that blind watching the playthrough on, when we uh, got to the end of disc one. It was actually really cool. So we're trying to keep everything else spoiler free too. I do have a goal though. Um, my goal is to hopefully beat Ruby and Emerald Weapon. I'm gonna try to do that without looking up a guide or asking how to do it. And then I also, uh, well, we got W Summon and Omni Slash early. I might try to get Knights of the Round. Ultimately, what I'd really like to do is count up Sephiroth's HP at the end of the game. Slowly tick away at it, and then when he's close to dead, throw Ares' starting staff at him for the killing blow. It's gonna require a lot of math. I don't care. I will math at him. Is it actually 
actually anything back here? No. Hey, Goosewash, what's up? How you doing? I think it's just two. Isn't it 22 years old? month and 97 either. <laughs> I don't know that. Dang, these guys hit hard. Oh, was it this month? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it was 97, but that, that's okay, Spooky. Heck, I can't keep track of when games came out anymore most of the time. Original re Oh! Wow, the original launch for 7 was January 31st. Not sure about the US release, though. That's still kind of cool. Hey, Fleshman, how you doing? I know you have to say sorry for asking questions, Sakri. That's fine. This way, Clow! Damn, Hojo! Internet says September 7th. Oh, for the US release? Look, it's guys that look slightly like Clow! It's basically Cloud's mod wearing a helmet and other weird weapon beer things. Which, by the way, is supposed to be somewhat of a metaphor, I think. Oh, Cloud died. Ouchies. Where did Cloud get the soldier uniform anyway? Oh, he got it from Zack Malice. He gets it from Zack. Yeah, when they escape the lab, uh, Zack gives him a uniform. Actually, let's make sure. Yeah, we want to be a full. Here we go. Hojo, stop right there. Oh, the failure. At least remember my name. It's Cloud. Every time I see you, it pains me that I had so little scientific sense. I saw you as a failed project, but you're the only one that succeeded as a Sephiroth clone. <laughs> I'm even beginning to hate myself. None of that matters. Just stop this nonsense! Nonsense? Oh, this? <laughs> Sephiroth seems to be counting on the energy. So I'm going to lend him a hand. Why? Why do that? Quit asking me why, you moron. Hm. Actually, you might make a good scientist. Energy level is at 83%. It's taking too long. My son needs power and help. That's the only reason. Your son? <laughs> But he doesn't know it. 
<laughs> what will Sephiroth think when he finds out I'm his father? <laughs> he always looks down on me. <laughs> your son? <laughs> oh, I offered the woman with my child to Professor Gas Genova Project. When Sephiroth was still in her womb, we took Genova's cells. <laughs> I can't believe you're the one who did this! A illusionary crime against Sephiroth! <laughs> no, you're wrong. It's my desire as a scientist. <laughs> I was defeated by my drive to become a scientist. I lost the last time, too. I've injected Genova's cells into my own body. <laughs> Here are <laughs> the results. Ah, uh, side note: when you inject Genova cells in your body, you dance. Let's get some sour places in the chat. I mean, Hojo really is the entire uh, reason why we have the plot of Final Fantasy VII. Also, I always thought it was creepy that he looks like a zombie. Mako juice is reacting. Mm. Oh, honey, what you do to yourself? He's basically a really, uh, sort of half-failed version of a Genova. Like, you remember you know what Genova, if you remember what Genova looks like in the other fights, um, Hojo's second form is like a deformed version of that Genova. Yeah, he's, this is gonna be, seriously, this game's gonna be crazy in HD. Also, hi, Shala, how you doing? And he was welcome. my favorite. You're, oh, you're doing good, Shala? You've been poking around for a bit while you packed orders. Nice, I'm glad to hear you're doing good.
Let's see if it, ooh. I was about to say, they're gonna get in an infinite loop of counters. <laughs> I thought, I thought Tiff might get in an infinite loop of counters with him. You can't silence me, sucker, I got a ribbon. Darn, I was hoping he'd use combo on Tiff again, because she just kept countering. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if her counter's maxed. Hey, Nate, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, actually, Prof. Corey, I was just thinking about that. Luge and Hojo uh, are very similar. And how they have, like, monsters with them, and they start off as a zombie and then turn into something else crazier. Pretty freaking cool. Oh, okay. All right, bye, Hojo. Also, uh, this fight is actually way harder the first time you do it. <laughs> mm, that sweet AP, though. Dot, dot, dot. Hi, Ollie. Ollie's like, hey, what happened to Hojo? I can't believe Sephiroth is Hojo's son. How sad for him. It is sad for him. Hi, Ollie. Hi, bud. Hey, Jumping Turtle, how you doing? Yeah, I think the first time I fought Hojo, I wasn't super ready either. I think I barely beat him. Hey, friendo. <laughs> what is it? Are you happy that we defeated the evil scientist Hojo? If you want to go on your other perch. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I only wanted to go sit in his other perch. <laughs> Hey, Jig Siri. Hey, Dills, what's up? How you doing? Hey, Lou Dog. I have beaten Hojo with Vincent before. Uh, Vincent was on my party the last time I played, uh, so I know he has stuff that he says to Hojo. I haven't actually done it with Barrett at my party. <clears throat> but I, I still... That fight's always really cool. Shinra's finished. Meteor's gonna fall in about seven more days. That's what grandfather said. Red 12. You want to see everyone in Cosmo Canyon again? Yes. You want to see Marlene, right? Don't ask me that. We'll beat Sephiroth. Then, if we don't release the power of Holy in seven days, there won't be a planet left to protect. If we can't beat Sephiroth, it's as good as death for us. We'll just go a few days sooner than the rest who will die from Meteor. Don't think you're gonna lose before you even fight! No! What I meant was, what are we all fighting for? I want us all to understand that. Save the planet, for the future of the planet, sure. That's all fine, but really, is that how it is? For 
me, this is a personal feud. I want to beat Sephiroth and settle my past. Saving a planet just happens to be a part of that. I've been thinking. I think we all are fighting for ourselves. For ourselves, and that someone, something, whatever it is, it's important to us. That's what we're fighting for. That's why we keep this battle up for the planet. You're right. It sounds cool saying it's to save the planet. But I was the one who blew up that Mako reactor. Looking back on it now, I can see that wasn't the right way to do things. Also, see? Barry does regret his previous actions. Sorry about that. Hey, Spoon Galaxy, how you doing? Oh, also, it is a Moogle playing a heart blue dog. Which, if you want to see a, a picture of it, you can click on the Twitter link. I made a lot of friends and innocent bystanders suffer. At first, it was revenge against Shinra for attacking my town. But now, yeah, I'm fighting for Marlene. For Marlene, for Marlene's future. Yeah, I guess I want to save the planet for Marlene's sake. Go and see her. Make sure you're right and come back. All of you, get off the ship and find out your reasons for yourselves. I want you to make sure that I want you to come back. Maybe ain't none of us will come back. Major's gonna kill us anyway. Let's forget any useless struggling. I know why I'm fighting. I'm fighting to save the planet and that's that. But besides that, there's something personal too. A very personal memory that I have. What about you all? I want all of you to find that something within yourselves. If you don't find it, then that's okay too. You can't fight without a reason, right? So, I won't hold it against you if you don't come back. What are you gonna do, Tiff? Did you forget? I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> that line always makes me so sad. She's like, I don't have anywhere to go, Cloud. Hey, Dram, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> and hey, Spoon Galaxy, I hope you're well. I wish that there weren't just silence here, but that's the way this part is, I guess. Everyone's gone. Yeah. We don't have anywhere or anyone to go home to. You're right. But I'm sure someday we'll come back, don't you think? Hmm. I wonder. Everyone has something irreplaceable they're holding on to. But this time, our opponent... But that's all right if no one comes back. As long as we're together with you by my side, I'll never give up no matter how bad it gets. Tiff. No matter how close we are now, we were far apart before. But... When we were in the live stream, surrounded by all those screams of anguish, I thought I heard your voice. <laughs> you probably don't remember this, but deep in my heart, I heard you calling my name. Or at least I thought I did. Yeah, I heard you calling me. 
You are calling me back from the consciousness in the live stream. After all, I promised that if anything ever happened to you, I'd come to help. Wow. Do you think the stars can hear us? Do you think they see how hard we're fighting for them? I, I don't know. But whether they can or not, we still have to do what we can and believe in ourselves. Someday we'll find the answer. Right, Tiff? That's what I learned from you when I was in the live stream. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Tiff, I... There were so many things I wanted to say to you. But now that we're together like this, I don't know what to say. I guess nothing's changed at all. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Words aren't the only thing that tell people what you're thinking. Maybe Tiff is talking about Kiss Her because she has been waiting like 10 freaking years! Hi, Spoony. Bard Wave. <laughs> I would just like to point out the Tiff is. Probably totally telling Cloud to kiss her here. <laughs> and he just doesn't. He's just like. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you so much for resowing for eight months in a row. Welcome back. How are you doing today? <laughs> you know, Cloud, words aren't the only way that you tell people how you feel, wink, wink, wink. <sighs> and he doesn't even get it. At least they cuddle. We never see them kiss, but we see them cuddle, which is still really cute. It's almost dawn. Huh? Sorry, did I wake you? It's almost dawn, Tiff. Um, morning, Clow. Just a little longer. A little bit longer. Day will never come again. So let me have this moment. Sure. Might be the last time we'll ever be together. It's still really sweet. <laughs> that they like hang out up here and Tiff falls asleep on his shoulder. It's really cute. Hey, Cloudy One, how you doing? Also, you're doing good. I'm glad to hear that, Super Dweeb. We'd better go. I still... It'll be alright, Tiff. You said so yourself yesterday. At least we don't have to go on alone. Yes. That's right. Okay, let's go! Yeah! Best girl, Tiff! Hey, Dante. Hey, Mr. Dinkman. How you guys doing? This airship is too big for just the two of us. Yeah, it's a little lonely without everyone. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll make a big enough ruckus for everyone, he says, doing squats. 
Besides, I'm the pilot. If you were flying around casually like before, we won't have time to feel lonely. Huh? It's moving! Barry, see? Uh, oh, is that okay with you? Red 12! Why didn't you tell me? But you know, see? Hey, Red 12. If you put in now, you never know what they'll say later. Were you watching? Ha! <laughs> oh, no! Now Tim's dying of embarrassment! I forgot about that! Oh, my God. I forgot that they all came back and were just watching Tiff and Cloud, like, cuddle outside of the ship. <laughs> That's too good. Vincent! Why such a puzzled look? Don't you want me to come? No, it's just... You're always so cool at what's happening, I thought you didn't care. Cool? Huh. I guess that's just how I am. Sorry. It must be a Batman thing. He, he says, doing a f aerial flip to move off screen. Well, looky here. The Shinra managers come back. But I couldn't get away, so some people in Midgard took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but I'll work really hard. I guess that's everyone. No, Yuffie is missing. She ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't steal our material. Thank God for that. After I came this far with you, even with my air sickness, I didn't go through all that junk just to have you guys have the best parts all to yourselves. Welcome back, Yuffie. Gee, Cloud. <laughs> That's so nice of you to say that. Are you, like, sick or something? Well, whatever. I'm gonna be in my reserve seat in the hall, waiting... Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back for your spiky-headed ass! I came back for Marlene. Guess it's just my feelings or something. I, uh, ain't got no words right now. Although she's not here, she left us a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. Airy. She was smiling to the end. We can't just let it in with that smile. We have to do something. Let's all go together. Memories of Airy. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her and now she's stuck. We've got to let go of Airy's memory. Has anyone here changed their mind? I'm counting on you, see. Yeah, yeah. Well, these two lemurs have been bugging me for a while. Let me try them out. All right, so what should I do? You decide, Clown. This is our last battle. Our target is the North Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. So let's move out! Boom, boom!
trying out the Wii Tube Blocker. How are you guys doing? We're almost to the North Cave! We're on our way, Sephiroth! Man, I'm gonna stick it to him! What is it, C? Uh, some incredible force! I'm losing control! Get the hell out of here, Flunkies! Didn't I tell you won't go home? Yes, sir, but this is our home! Oh, man! Stop trying to act so cool! All right, you jokers! Hold me down with everything you got! Geronimo! End of part two. Well, I don't recall if there's a save point here or not. Like, after the fact. We did it! We did it, guys. Monsuk, thank you for the 200 bits. Also, Gwen, thank you for the 100 bits earlier. I don't think I actually said thank you out loud because my brain spaced out. Hey, Lowry. Hey, Bethan. How you guys doing? Uh, well, I had thought about it, Ryu, but I'm also super hungry. <laughs> I'm super hungry, and I don't- Hey, chat! Uh, yeah, I don't recall if there's, like, a save point anywhere super nearby. I wanna say there is one before whatever fight we run into here, but I don't remember. You're doing good, Lowry. I'm glad to hear that. No, you don't have to say sorry about that. Real life always comes first. Oh, there's not one at the bottom. You almost needed sunglasses. Well, it's a good thing I carry sunglasses on my desk. Just for those particular moments, Dante. <laughs> I mean, mainly I use them for making bad jokes, but... Oh, you get a save crystal. You can put it down wherever you want. Oh, okay. Well, I still think story-wise, like, this is probably a good place to call it a night since we just got to the beginning of disc three. Um... So, I think we'll go ahead and call it a night here. I do know we had quite a bit of a shorter stream than usual. Uh, that's because I had D&D earlier. We wrapped up the last season of my D&D campaign, which was super cool. Uh, um, and by the way, that was, since that was the last episode of Season 2, future Wednesday streams will start at 6 p.m., as the rest of them do. And... I will be back tomorrow with more Final Fantasy VII. We'll be starting stream up at 6 p.m. Pacific, so please do feel free to come back and hang out, because we'll be starting Disc 3, which I'm excited for, because it's going to be some story, and then chocobo breeding, chocobo breeding, woo, woo, chocobo breeding, yeah! And also, you know, leveling up to fight weapons. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think it's a good spot to, to call it a night. Wow. Also, we're 43 hours in. It's been a... Although a good chunk of that was probably farming for stuff. <gasps> hey, Kansha. It's good to see you. I hope you've been doing well. Yes, Wayne Map 